Spring Valley Student Farm. I'm Julia. I am the farm manager and I oversee what's happening but most of the work is done by the students who live at the farm. Part of the program, if they live at the farm they get a reduced rent and they have to do 10 hours of work a week uh, as part of their requirement. So they also have the three paid positions where they um, get paid for 29 hours a week. So today we're going to be uh, giving you a tour of the farm and then we'll be harvesting green beans. We'll, then we'll weigh everything, wash everything, pack everything, um, put it in the refrigerator. So I think uh, at that point we can start walking around and you can show them the different areas. Anyways, this is the herb spiral. Um, the herb spiral is cool. It's mostly herbs, as you could guess. There's sage and chives, and there's a lot of dill and cilantro and some flowers in here for the bees. There's um, daikon radishes in here, so it's another kind of cover crop, but it's mainly for the soil because the radishes will go so deep. These things are, like, huge. We might be able to see one. Yeah, let me show you guys this thing. So this giant white thing. Those things are in the soil, they penetrate way down in there, so if, it's, if you have compact soil then you want to throw down a lot of daikon radishes, it'll loosen everything up. And then we also line the edges of the beds with marigolds or nasturtiums or cosmos, some kind of flower, so we could bring in other beneficial insects. Um, I guess we could go in the hoop house. Is it hot in here? Alright, you guys hear me back there? You good? Do we got everyone? Okay, cool. So we got more kale over here. Um, there's a really cool variety that we found recently that's not really, see all the lobes on this kale are very, it's very lobed. We found a nice smooth, smooth uh, margined kale back there. So we're trying to propagate that. It could be a new variety. Um, here on the left, we have like a bunch of Islander peppers and I think some Cayennes and some in, an intruder pepper, a yeah. little bit of 
pepper. Yeah, pepper variety right, over this, here. This is the intruder pepper. Yeah, there's the intruder. Really cool stuff. And then we got tomatoes behind you guys on trellises. So we keep them up and happy. So yeah, and then the sunflowers are beautiful and they are huge and possibly trying to fall over. But we can go back out that way if you guys don't mind. And then there's a berry patch up here too. So we got uh, blueberries, raspberries, gooseberries, and maybe some blackberries or something. Also just like the density of this little region right here keeps a lot of uh, moisture in the soil, keeps the microbiology thriving. So I think mostly it's for the bees, right Julia? Yeah. Yeah, um, that plot, we got some basil, we got some flowers, we got lettuce, a little bit of kale, a bunch of sunflowers, some Swiss chard, some bok choy under the row covers. And then the sunflowers are here too. Mostly I think we did it because we wanted to throw off the insects that eat the eggplant. So we tried to like section off like two different sides and confuse things and then we put buckwheat and basil so the plant the insects have a hard time finding the eggplant um, and it's it's a nice cover crop so that the grass doesn't come in because we have grass coming in everywhere every plot you see there's grass creeping in from the sides and then this plot was all onions we took out a hundred pounds of onions yesterday so it's kind of empty there's just a few leaks on the other side there Some, but the woodchuck ate most of them. That's so sad. So we just sort of gave up on uh, after a while.
did. They come back twice as strong as Wow. Did I end up stealing both? No. Yeah. You got help? Yes. He's like sitting on the top and I just started whipping right here and he's like, slow down, slow down. He's <laughs> like, dude, just hold on. <laughs> This is the uncapped queen cell. Uh, it could be they're running out of space and thinking about making another queen. Could be there's something wrong with the queen, although the capped brood on the other side would indicate there's nothing wrong with the queen. So, not sure why they're making a queen cell. Make them money, make them easier. Hey, Nicole. Oh my god. I haven't seen Queenie, have you? <laughs> it's harder when the sun goes. It's still born. Maybe I'll seal this up good. Wow, this is so I've seen it. Play that Mario Party game where you shake it. Nah, boy. Nothing. You suck. Just try to skip it. Just try to throw it straight. <laughs> I, I literally told you. I was like, Fuck. you want me to do that, Chris?
front of me, guys. <laughs> yeah.
to the back room. She comes over and hangs out and changes wristbands. Got some uh, eggplants in here, some garlic. How many is that all about? You did? Yes. Okay, well, we brought you five more. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so five garlic milk cake. You said the carrots, right? Yes, please. That's the hot. Just about dumped in the other one. Right, did you buy it? Yeah, right. Okay. I'm going to grab a little loaf right in with the soup, too. Mine's doing 15, 37. Thanks. That's the scene, right?